What is up everyone and welcome back to more Dragon Quest XI. I ended the last episode on a downer. We failed the boss fight. Now there's a good couple of things that I didn't even realize. One being that Sylvando didn't even have a weapon on, which is a little bit embarrassing. So obviously I've gone through my equipment now and Sylvando is kitted out like he should be. Um, I've also done a fair amount of grinding over the past couple of days, so everyone is at least over level 40 now, so I'm hoping that things will be a little bit better. Um, let's change the tactics before we go in. And uh, let's try this again. I was really confused because the game put me miles back when I died from this boss fight, so I was like, did I load up a wrong save? Like, did I do something wrong? But apparently, that was just what it was supposed to do. So, uh, hi there. Let's do this. Don't even speak to me. Just get on with it. Right, the hair is behind the ears, okay? This is my concentration face. Fight! So my strategy wants to be at least two healers, I think. I wish I had Eric for this fight, so that I could at least get that move where every time the Gloomnivore wants to attack me, he gets some sort of damage done, so... Um. I feel like that does far too much MP. Way more than I would like. So Susie already has that. So let's give that to Rab. Don't worry, darlings. Still here. <laughs> that move is savage. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna have Rab as my healer. And I'm gonna have... Who would he like to buff? Uh, okay. I think if I remember, I was actually able to put him to sleep as well. Just to give me a little bit more time. So, he's really got the wrong weapon on, considering he can't even do many of those. See, that only has a 50% success rate, which is horrible. It's always good to remember that I've got it. Alright, um... I'm on a major buffing spree right now, okay, because I know, I know how dangerous this fight can be. wake him up. I would like to avoid that, if possible. I really think that we're just past 
frizz and sizzle, but we'll see. Yeah, it's really not doing much damage, so... Um... Okay, well that was decent. Um... I think I might go ahead and give Susie some HP. You must protect yourself. So Frizz didn't really do much. Okay, that made my PlayStation wake up that one just then. <laughs> I can't tell if he's gonna wake up soon or not. to do. him to sleep once. I'm not sure. Nice. Very nice. Okay. 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 All out defense. All out defense. Um It. 
I don't know. Um. I gotta try and put him to sleep again, but Defense. Give me a second here. Um. We have not done yet. I'm in like major concentration ro road mode right now. Okay, right, let's start doing some magic damage. Okay, okay. Well, while you're awake, um... A nice move, damn. Okay, um, so we're now having an MP issue. Do I have any way of getting MP back? I think so. Ha ha. Okay, um. 
HP, HP. Okay, so let's give that to Reb. have all the MP. Yeah. So that he can just keep healing. And then everybody else I'm nervous. No, 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 why did I not wake Susie up? Why did I not wake Susie up? What an idiot. Okay. Sorry. I think that's the first boss in this game that, my god, if I had to really prepare for. Jeez.
Wait. Those eyes. I'd know them anywhere. Wait, so his dad's not actually dead? Huh? Son, is it really you? It was you who saved me, wasn't it? You're back. You're back to your old self at last. Oh. Eleanor? Our son has freed you. Despair no longer holds you captive. You are free to join me after all these years. I am, my love. I am. My dear son, my darling boy, many hardships await you. Many trials lie ahead, but you must not stray from your path. You must not falter. Let the light of hope, the light inside you, be your guide. And remember, we will always watch over you. Farewell, my darling. I love you so much. Goodbye, my little one. Goodbye, Erwin. I hope both of you find peace at last. <gasps> Honey, your hand! Huh? Oh. The mark. It's glowing again. Your powers, they're back! Yes! The Luminary is restored to us, and all thanks to his honored parents. God, I got a little bit emotional just then. Oh, That was so sad. We mustn't tarry here for too long, we've places to be. Head north to Octagonia. Oh. Night of the Living Dread. <laughs> that was a really hard, like, story and section. Like, so sad, you know? Just, like, seriously sad. I have a lot of money on me. My goodness. Um, can I zoom to Octa What's Its Face? Maybe not. Oh, I need to go outside first anyway. So that I can uh, get my map back. Oh, for like a split second, there's little naive me being like, oh my god, it's like his dad is gonna be there and maybe his dad will join our fight and I, like he'll be a playable character and <laughs> all these things like just rushed through my head. And then I had them torn away in seconds, and it nearly made me cry. This game, man, it does things to me. She's so sad. Poor Susie has never had it easy, that's for sure. Okay. So, we've had Sylvando's story, we've had Rab's story, and we've even had one for Susie and... Hendrick and all that and I feel like what I'm loving about this whole section of the game here is that I thought I knew the characters, you know, I really did I thought I knew them inside out 
And then this whole section happened here and is giving me even more of a backstory on every single one of them individually. And I love it. I absolutely love it. And it's... This is such a sad game, but it's like... It's so beautifully written. I love the battle system. I love the crafting. I love all of it. It's just... It's such an amazing game. I just can't say it enough. But where is Eric? <laughs> I want Eric so badly. I've been having to be so careful in the comment section now, though. Because I love this game, and I really don't want to know anything. I want everything to come as a shock, you know? Whoop. So I'm going to get out of here. Hopefully my pony is still waiting for me. Probably not. I was riding one of the henchmen's horses instead of my own for a little bit when I was out here grinding. Okay, so we're making our way up. We don't need to... Yeah, I was riding one of those horses there. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, actually. So this is where I did all my grinding. I spent a long time in this area, and fighting the T-Rex-looking enemies is where I got most of my levels from. Uh, aha! Like, I see a lot of comments from people that are like, oh, she doesn't do this in the Let's Play, and she doesn't do that in the Let's Play, but I do so much of this game off-screen, because I spent hours playing it. That's why we're only at part... almost part 40 now. But I've been playing so much of this game offline that I'm almost like 50 hours into it. So you guys are not seeing all the, the nitty-gritty stuff at the side. Because I'm trying to focus on the story and the main boss fights. I, in my opinion, grinding is not fun to watch, but it is fun to do. Like I love grinding, but I don't like doing it on screen. And I, I find just doing the same boss fight, not boss fights, but battles over and over is just kind of tedious, you know? So what's going on here? Watcha! You here for a bit of R&R like everyone else, eh? Uh, no. R and R? <laughs> Not likely. We've things to be getting on with. Seriously? You went in Octagonia to let your hair down? Why else would anyone come here? Everyone's been miserable since it got all dark and that, right? Well, this is where people come to forget all that horrible stuff. To have a bit of fun. I met this girl on the road as it happens. She said she was headed here too. Of course, she was a looker. Jade? Dressed all funny she was. One of them martial artist types, you know. I was hoping to see her here, if I'm honest. <gasps> a beautiful martial artist, huh? You don't think it could be... Brav! Here he is. I thought he'd never show up. Well, it was nice talking to you. Maybe we'll bump into each other in town again, eh? <sighs> You took your time. Where have you been, you plonker? We got fun to be having. Come on. Here, hold up. Octagonia. It has been a long time. Well, there's no harm in taking a quick look around town, eh? You never know. The lass he was talking about could be Jade. It's 110% Jade. Martial arts, there is no other girl like that. Oh! Sorry, pony. Look at these enemies now. The bunnies have gone all creepy-like. See you later, pony. I'm off to find my long-lost sister. Kind of sister, I guess. Oh, this is where we did the fights. I remember this place. Didn't this place used to be funner looking? Ugh, and what's with that ugly, ugly statue? So tacky. Welcome to Octagonia. Hi. Oh. <sighs> A monster. 
Be on your guard. Oh, come now. There's no need for all that. You're in the new Octagonia now. There's no fighting here anymore. Only fun! Fun! All those tournaments they used to host, so uncivilized. The arena's a casino now, thanks to Booga, best and most beautiful of the spectral sentinels. Why are you talking like that? Why don't you step inside and chance your arm? It's just upstairs. Who knows? It might be your lucky day. What? A casino run by monsters, eh? It all sounds a wee bit fishy to me. Still, we'd better go and take a look. Jade might be inside. I'm gonna call it right now that the monsters get you to come in and then they hold you to ransom. Yeah, I'm calling it right now. They hold you to ransom and then you never leave, I guess. That's what I think, anyway. Oh, so the lift doesn't work anymore. Okay. Okay, fine. Whatever. I have a lot of money, actually. Um, we'll take the stairs, and then I'm gonna go and get some weapons and stuff. Okay, it's open. Let's go. <laughs> Rab skipping in the loading. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this place. What? This is weird. Hey, buddy. love potion? So I gotta play some casino games. I don't have any tokens. Um, do I gotta buy them? Like, what's this thing? Excuse me. Um, so, uh, the, 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 this is weird. This is weird. <laughs> that is savage. Okay, what's this? Um, okay, where do I get some tokens? Can anyone help me? Can I not just steal a love potion? One token. I don't have any tokens. Yes, I do. But, um, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, okay. Okay. I ain't getting found that way, that's for sure. <laughs> so, why are some of these monsters, like, domesticated? place is a, a little bit strange. Maybe I need to go back down the stairs. How do I get down there? Oh, I want to go up here. Lemon VIPs? Wait, hold on. What's this? Oh. Oh, 
Oh, sweet! She gave me a ton! Okay. 2,000. Let's give it a spin, shall we? Press up and down to decide how many tokens to bet on each spin of the reels. If three or more of the same symbol line up, then... Three or more, okay. Shall we bet? I'm gonna be a gambler. Oh! Oh! I got. Oh! Oh! I win! I got a king slime! Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh man, I'm really good at this. Um, no. I want to know if you'll be my girl. How many do I need in order to uh, get a love potion? It's just none of these guys. So where do I exchange? Is it this one here? Okay, so how much is it? 10,000? OMG! That's... That's expensive! Oh man! Okay, well... I guess I'm just gonna have to, uh... Probably the red machines because they cost more to play. Yeah, let's give it a spin. Um. Please! Give me a fat. Oh god. Oh no! kids it's not good except in Dragon Quest and then it's good so what do I oh but I really want to know what that is but let's go ahead and get the love potion just the one um we'll give it to Susie god that stuff's expensive okay Now a VIP! So let's head on up, shall we? Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought they were doing me out then. I was like, there's nothing here! What's going on? That was fun, I enjoyed that. Nice little bit of gambling, you know, why not? of your kind here. Well, don't worry. We'll look after you. If you'll just follow me. 
I've got some humans for ya! Hey! <laughs> More lambs to the slaughter, eh? What? Uh, huh? C can it really be? Princess? Hendrik, what's a man as dull as you doing in a place as lively as this, hmm? I suppose even fine, upstanding knights of the realm need a cheap thrill every now and again, eh? Well, are you ready to play? But, but you... I... What's the matter, Henny Wenny? Cat got your tongue? Is the king's little lapdog scared of a bit of fun? I've been pining for a puppy as it happens. Maybe I'll choose you. If you sit up and beg like a good boy. Um... Jade, listen to yourself, lassie. What's happened to you? Stop all this nonsense and come with us, will you? In case you've forgotten, Mordigan's still out there. We need you. Oh, be quiet, you doddery old fool. You're ruining the mood. Look at Sylvando's face, he's like... Wow, Mordigan's still out there. Well, he can stay out there for all I care. I'm Booger's now. He's the only one that matters to me. My heart, my soul, my body. They're all his. Why in the world would I want to join your band of do-gooders? I'm happy here. Happy for the first time in my life. You are a princess of Heliodor. You will behave like one. Oh, this Hendrick. den of iniquity is no place for a lady. You are coming with us. Just don't put your hand on her. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Called it. I'm going nowhere, and you can keep your hands to yourself. What would you know about ladies, anyway? Hmm? Tell you what. Why don't I give you a crash course? My foot crashing into your face. Huh? I didn't expect this. What the heck? Give it to me. <laughs> well, good job, Sylvando's gay, because that ain't going to work on him. Oh, for goodness sake. All right, okay, okay. Do I have anything? Is it paralysis? Is that what it's... I wasn't prepared for this boss fight. Let's just say that. I feel like that's a good enough uh, thing to say. You know what, fine, fine. She dodged. <laughs> Boo hoo! Pull your socks up. Give in to me. Oh my god, really? All right, okay. Thank you! Nice, okay. That gives me a little bit of time 
to uh, decide what the heck I'm doing. So Silvano has no MP. Uh, except for that one. No, okay. So let's go ahead and use some... Ab Do they wake up from abilities? I think it's just spells that they don't wake up from. Started that boss fight. Did it, darlings. Not even healed from the last one, okay? Fabulous, darling. Very nice, Sylvando. What's wrong with her? Come on now, lassie. That's enough foolishness. Come along with us, will you? Oh dear. 
Well, isn't this awkward? You appear to have nobbled my number one croupier. I suspect that means you don't know who you're dealing with. Let me introduce myself. I am Booga, Spectral Sentinel, the Raker of Hearts, Smasher of Heads. We've heard of him, right? <gasps> oh, he's the one who turned Octagonia into such a silly spectacle. Honey, you have no taste. <gasps> My pretty little kitty cat. Look what the nasty people did to you. <laughs> King Booga will punish them. You'll see. Step away from the princess fiend. She is coming with us. You've come to steal away my pretty, have you? No, no, no. That just won't do. Not after I went to all the trouble of putting her under my spell. Do you think it was easy turning such a lovely girl into a horrible monster? You can turn humans into monsters? D does that mean all the others are they? What did I tell you guys about when we came in here? <laughs> of course! Jade wasn't my first, you know. All my lovely girls used to be human, and the boys too. <laughs> There's nothing like making a monster out of a smug human who thinks they've beaten the house. That soon wipes the smile off their faces, let me tell you. Now listen here, you. Jade's coming with us. You'll be using her for no more of your nefarious nonsense. Yeah. Oh dear. I'm afraid my casino has a zero tolerance policy towards troublemakers. I would throw you out, but I'd rather crush you to a pulp. I mean, let's be honest here. It was bad enough having to take on Jade without resting and going to a shop, but I never anticipated this. <laughs> You're joking. You're actually joking. Oh my god. I mean... I don't have anything! That's the thing, it's like... Uh, okay. Don't worry, darlings. Sue's here. <laughs> like, I expect to die. Oh my god, Susie! Susie! Like, not even worth it. <laughs> 
snap out of it! him for no reason whatsoever. I mean, I don't expect to do this because, I mean, we kind of have a little bit of an MP issue just now. Uh... Let's get a move on! die and I have no way to heal him. Ha <laughs> 
Um, damn it. I got five. I wonder if that even works. I literally did not think I was walking into a, a fight right now. I'm genuinely so upset. <laughs> to go like all out attack. I don't think I'm gonna do this fight, but I mean, whatever. Game over, guys. Looking to buy. This fight is insane. Wow. Damn! I mean, it was bad enough having to do Jade unprepared, but to then have to do that guy unprepared? I was not ready for that. Um, last place you visited. Your last autosave. Um, I think the last autosave is probably a... A good shout. Because um, last time I saved was at the very start of this video which was over an hour ago. So that is crazy, okay? We managed to do one difficult boss in this episode and then we've then had to realize that we're gonna have to take on Jade and then Jade's master at the moment. So uh, yeah, pretty insane. Now I'm gonna have to go and win that money back again, but I think it's time to do a little bit more grinding at this point. So, that is all I got time for in this episode of Dragon Quest XI. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.